Hi, I'm Billy Maddox, and let's do another one sheet notebook, shall we? Hello. Welcome back to Bookbinding Basics, episode 15. Uh, we're gonna do another one sheet notebook, like a notebook out of one sheet of paper. I did one a couple of months back. I'm not really sure. Let's throw it up on screen. We're gonna do an 18 page mini notebook. Well, it doesn't have to be mini, but we'll get into that. So I went ahead and drew a grid on the piece of paper just so that you can visually see what's going on. It can get a little confusing with the number of folds and the number of cuts that we're about to do. So I just wanted to make it uh, as simple as possible. So everywhere you see a line, you're gonna do a fold. You can do that however you wish. So let's go ahead and get into folding. Essentially we're gonna fold in half and then fold in half again this way and then fold in half and fold in half the other way, the long way. The tall way? I don't know. Anyway. I like to do it this way. I just get a tighter, much more accurate fold this way. Go. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side here. Let's do this quick and easy. With our little 18 page notebook. Let's see, here we go. Everybody in. Legs and arms tucked in. Okay, there's that fold. So we have our four fold this way. Please excuse my weird uh, line there. I just did that quick. You don't really need to do the lines. I just did it. I did it for you! I did the lines for you, okay? Please, I um, I didn't have to do these lines. I had to do these lines for nobody. I did these for you. Yes, you. You. No, don't look around. Don't think it's another person that I'm referring to. I did this for you. Yeah. Yeah. I care about you. I care about your well-being and your information retention, comprehension. I care about those things. Now, <laughs> we're gonna do our folds in the other direction. There we go. And we'll do the same thing for the other folds. Tuck them in, tuck them in here. We're gonna tuck them in, fold it down, and we're gonna tuck in, and fold it down. This is kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like a little bit of an um, origami. This is like origami. You know, origami? You know about origami? When you fold like paper and stuff? Okay, now, we've got this going, right? Uh, let's do some notation here on the page, right? We are going to cut three lines, right? And we're going to, so let's call these little blocks, right? So we're gonna go three blocks in from the left. So we're cutting along this line here. We're gonna go three blocks in from the right. So we're cutting these here. And again, three blocks in from the left, cutting here, right? Just so you can get an idea. We're cutting along that line, along this line, and along this line. I should say, we're cutting along the fold. Scissors. This is probably easiest with scissors, though, you know, you can cut it with a hobby knife, you can do the trick that I did, uh, that I showed you in the last one sheet video. Do what you like. You can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna cut along the fold here, quick and dirty. And we're gonna stop. I'll show you where we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop right at this fold. See that? Right there. I'm gonna leave this little guy here, okay? Now we're gonna do the same from the other side. Cut down. You gotta pay attention because this is my weird wonky line. I'm gonna make sure that I'm cutting along the fold and not cutting along the weird line I drew. And we are stopping. I'm gonna show you. We're stopping right there. 
and then finally from the other side. So what we get is kind of like a weird little S. <laughs> I don't know, that's why that's how I like to remember it. Like a weird little backwards S, right? So here we are. We've got these folds. What did I do? What am I gonna do with this? How is this gonna be a notebook? This is I don't know, a party streamer at best. Calm down, everyone. There's no need to freak out. Don't worry, we're gonna get this done. Now, here is the magic. Now you're just gonna sort of accordion fold. Okay, so first, starting at the top left, we're gonna fold this one towards us, right? Or, you know, we're gonna fold this one over and then fold this one back and then fold this one over, and then fold this one back, and then fold this one over, and then fold this one back, and then fold this one over, and then fold this one back, and then fold this one over, and then fold this one back, and then fold this one over, and then fold this one back, fold it over, fold it back, fold it over, and guess what? You have just made an 18 page little notebook here. Wait, did I mess this up? Oh, here we are, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Here's our 18 page notebook. There's gonna be a side that works and a side that doesn't, you will soon see. Um, just know that the sides that have your first little flaps, you know, in either direction, that's the side you open from. If you try to start from the opposite side this way, you're gonna lose a page and it's actually a lot less pages. So just remember that your single first little fold is your cover, top sheet, whatever you would like to call it. At this point, let me show you my original, just so that I can show you how these page, pages would need to be numbered should you need to do that. You see how it's, you see how I have them numbered there? Two, three, four, five. Where is one? It's right there. Boom. You see? A little cover. 18 page book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, and 18 as the, as the last uh, sheet. You could, I guess, theoretically go back and get a few extra pages from the back, but what I think is cool is if you then uh, do something with this. You could either just run a staple here or something, or if you wanna refer to my perfect bind, a lot of people get angry when I use perfect bind. I know, look, I'm not a company. I don't have machines. I know a perfect bind is like made in a machine. I'm talking about like a home perfect bind with PVA glue. Um, and you can see how to do that here. Uh, I'm thinking about like, it would be good to sort of uh, give this a little clamp run a few layers of, of glue on there, and then boom, you're perfect. Now, I know what you're gonna say, because everyone always says it. Everyone always says it. What in the actual am I gonna do with this? I'm not gonna answer that question anymore. So I'm just gonna refer to past me. Past me, get in here and let them know. I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Get yourself a bigger piece of paper. That's all you need. There you go. Get yourself a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> uh, this is actually good for like artist books, you know? I think it'd be cool if you printed something on the page first, keeping in mind where everything goes and then cutting it up and making it into a book and seeing what happens. Not as a notebook, but as an artist book. Uh, anyway, that's why I was taught this. So, there you go. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I know this was a uh, little teeny tiny notebook video, but um, I mentioned them and people were kind of excited to see them, so I wanted to do that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Roll the thing!